we're going to show you how to do this pattern. We're not really sure what it's called. We think it might be an inverse fishtail, but we're not sure. But um, my neighbour son, who's nine, um, kind of came up with this pattern whilst playing at the park. So we're going to show you how to do it. It's a little bit tricky. Um, you can do it if you concentrate really hard, but you do have to concentrate because we've done it with a couple of the other kids, and one could do it and one couldn't, and it just has to give you a bit of time. So do you want to show us what you did first? Well, so, first you got one. It's like a fish there. You start to twist. Yeah. So you start off with that figure of eight, like you do with all the finger loom you banding. Get another one. Yeah. So we've got three colours in total, haven't we? You put it on. Yeah. One, two, yep. And then you get another one, like a fishtail. Yep, very good. So you've got three different ones, yeah. You, you start and get the pink one. Which is on the middle finger. one. So Switch when you've got your three... Down yeah. So when you've got your three colours, you take your middle one. And then you have to have it like there. Yeah. So you put it over. And then... Yeah. When you've done that, you untwist it off those two fingers. And put it back, yeah. And so you have it like that. Yeah. Okay, next colour. You get another colour, which is the blue. So you keep sticking to your three over. colours, yeah. Put that one with the little bit on so it. So it's always the middle one, isn't it? In my fingers, yes it you is. You stretch it and then you get the one and underneath. Flip it over. And pull it through the, the one that you've stretched. And again, you do that. Yeah. And you get your other colour. And... You do what you did. You stretch the middle one, so this time it's the blue one. And you pick up the one underneath and pull it through the blue one over the pink. And at the start, it doesn't look like... Like very much, but as you get going... So we're going to do a couple and then show again how it goes. So this time we do green. And this time you stretch the pink. That's the middle fiddly. one. It is fiddly and it gets your fingers, makes them feel all squashed after a while, doesn't it? Yeah. But it's a really nice pattern. Now you get the blue one from underneath, put it over the green, and then release the pink. So we'll do one more and then we'll, we'll take a little break and come back when we've done a few more. So pink, so green this time, which is the middle one. Pull the pink from underneath, over the blue, and release the quite green. quite a few now, so you can see the really the pretty pattern. And our nine-year-old is now going to show us how to finish it off. Well, you start, you will finish actually, with putting the last one underneath. Yeah, so you're left like that. And if then, oh, and then you can do the one where you don't need the, um, where you just put it over. And then, you and then pull it that over, and then you're kind of knotting it, aren't you? So you've yeah. got this sort of knot. And then you can either use the clips to put them together, or, or you can tie knotting. a knot, and you're done. And this is a really, really pretty pattern um, um, that is a bit tricky to do at first but really worth worthwhile and here's the other one oopsie let's show them all and, and, the, and here's one that's that you did with lots of random colors which looks great too doesn't it yeah